Welcome back to Mungadai headquarters at Joint Base Lewis McCord. I am Sergeant Chris Roberts. And I'm Sergeant Chris Klutz. Today we are going to take you from the evening of day two through the triumphant finale of the Mungadai Challenge. First, our senior enlisted leaders conducted their second live fire. You're good. Just leave him there. Specialist Graham here out at the stress chute where these senior leaders are out here lighting up the range. It's been a long day, but they're still motivated. Now Genghis Khan and his Mungadai warriors did not build the largest contiguous empire in history without a raid or two. Last night our Mungadai challengers went on the offensive. Because when others sleep, the Mungadai is poised to strike. Staff Sergeant Bowen here with uh, Sergeant Major Wegman. Sergeant Major Wegman, what uh, unit you represent out here tonight? First Corps IG. And how did, uh, how did this, how did Leshy Town go? Tell me a little bit about it, what did it do for you, and how you feel two days into the Mungadai Challenge? The uh, Leshy Town was a very dynamic scenario. <laughs> We had four buildings to, uh, to clear in all, and the final objective was uh, this building here in the background. Uh, there was a total of three floors that we had to clear. Go. Get down! 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 So what's it like coming back and doing these kinds of challenges? Um, and does it reconnect you with sort of that that the the the, uh, the soldier and the warrior ethos side of you? Oh, absolutely. We got guys up there in that corner. Um, it's been challenging with regard to sleep deprivation, Angel. continuous operations, and, and lack of food. And I'll, I'll tell you what, it makes you think on your toes, makes you stay a little bit more alert. But this team has been a dynamic team. They've all, uh, they understand all, each of our strengths and weaknesses and, and have helped us out all along the way. How did this pull you out of your comfort zone and what, what did you get out of the experience? Well, this builds upon the skills that you learn in basic training and uh, all those combat skills that you work on once a year. However, this just, it's a culmination of all those events. So I think it was good to pull this out. Uh, do some more realistic training and really bring it home so I can take it back to Now, what did it feel like knowing that you had this this event to do tonight after being some 40 plus hours into the Mungadai Challenge? I mean, honestly, I'm excited. He's down. I mean, this I, I like doing this stuff. Uh, this is the stuff that I don't get to do all the time. Uh, so I was excited for it. Uh, I was looking forward to it. Uh, I, I volunteered to do this, so I was expecting this, and, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, what what have you been using to to maintain that motivation, and what are you gonna what are you gonna hold on to to get you through these last few hours of the Mungadai Challenge? Steak dinner waiting at the end. That's what I'm holding on to. Roger, first sergeant. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. No and we're back to Mungadai headquarters for more Mungadai Warrior. After a successful raid, there is only one way to satisfy a Mungadai's appetite. Pig brains. Run it. All right, so I got Sergeant First Class Deacon here with me. I'm Staff Sergeant Frank Brown. Hello, Mungadai maniacs. It's chow time, and uh, we're going to do a little taste test. What do we have here in your hand? I don't have no idea. It's got rice, and I don't know. All right, well, let's try it out. <laughs> It's the taste test. Yeah. Wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's pig brains. I don't care. I don't, that don't bother me. I'm a country boy. That don't bother me. <laughs> it fills a hole. Shout out to the country. All right. I appreciate it. Thank Have you. a great day. Well, there you go. Fit for a champ. Back to you, Munga Dye headquarters. <laughs> Munga delicious. With the stomach full of pig brain and the sun rising, the only battle the nocturnal Munga Dye lost was to the Sandman. Mm -hmm. 
Next, the Mungadai challengers were hit with another jarring change of pace. Physically drained, it was time to test the Mungadai's mind. Good morning, Munga Die Hearts. It's the morning of day three, and they're almost finished. It's time to separate the Munga Dies from the Munga Dead. What do these warriors got going on today, Sergeant Ternay? Well, after all of this action and so little sleep, they're doing a mental evaluation to see if they're as sharp as a Munga Die warrior spear or as blunt as a bowling ball. Let's check out the action. Guys, we're getting to be ready to step off at 09. What are some of the things you're looking for out here today? Out here today, we're just looking to make sure that their mental clarity is good. Uh, we want to make sure that they can remember who they are and what, where they're at and what it is exactly that they're doing. Time. Word search. Come here. I haven't done oh, this. Yeah. I haven't done this oh. since like, uh, I don't know, maybe sixth grade. Sergeant Janae here with Sergeant First Class LZ, and you just went through the mental examination. So after all of this little sleep, you know, how did you do? How do you think you did? Oh man, I've I, I done all right until I got to the count by sevens, or count from 100 by sevens, right? That was, it was easy, but it just took me a little bit, a little bit longer to calculate in my head. What have you been seeing so far today? So far, they're doing really well. Um, everybody seems to be in pretty good spirits, so overall pretty good. Good to know. It looks like they're up to the task to finish the last day of the Mungadai Challenge. After a 12-mile foot march to American Lake, they only had one final obstacle. What was the hardest part about the training? Probably this. I have a fear of the water, and I just got in the water and rose. Weapons. Two weapons. 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 Fifty-five hours of excruciating pain later, the remaining senior enlisted service members claimed what they had earned. The man, myth, and legend himself, Command Sergeant Major John Wayne Troxel, bestowed the coveted title Mungadai Warrior upon those who survived the challenge. For the last 58 hours, these warriors in front of you and these mentors over here to the side have gone through probably some of the most physical, mental, and emotional tough events that uh, we could come up with. And they have not only survived, they have thrived in this environment. Good job, buddy. You got the t-shirt. Congratulations, Sergeant Major. First Sergeant Matthew Mueller. And Munga Dai was Munga Dunn. So for all of us here at Munga Dai Headquarters, I'm Sergeant Chris Roberts. And I'm Sergeant Chris Klutz. Thanks for watching.